I'm Polly. I'm one of the reference librarians here at the Watertown Public Library. And today I'm going to show you how to do leaf printing on towels. First, the materials you'll need, 100% cotton towel. You can also use a napkin or a tablecloth or a table runner, but they do need to be 100% cotton. And you should try to wash and dry them before you start painting. You will also need paints. Uh, the one that I'm using right now is a multi-surface acrylic paint. On the back it does say that it's usable on fabrics and I think that's an important thing to have. You'll need paint brushes. Um, a good thing to have is a cup of water to wash off your paint brushes. Um, and I'm going to use wax paper on top to smooth it out. Uh, you could also use a paper towel and you can use a rolling pin um, if you want to. I actually found that it smooths a little better if you're just using your hand. Uh, and you also need leaves. So I found some leaves. Um, it's probably better to do it a little bit earlier in the season so that the leaves are fresher, uh, but this is the time that we're doing it. Um, and then you can set your leaves out and decide on a pattern that you'd like ahead of time. Or you can just do whatever you do um, as you go along. You can also try it out on a piece of just blank paper ahead of time as well to see how a certain leaf will look. Um, so I have pre-painted a leaf. You want to paint on the back side of the leaf where the ribs are more prominent. And you're just going to, I'll start another one as well. Um, you wanna cover it pretty well. All the way to the edges. And you can also cover the stem, because that gives it a little more interest, I think, like that. So I'll just leave that one started. And so this one I'm just gonna put right here and put the, paper, the wax paper on top and then just press it down with the heel of my hand and my thumb. And it's a little bit of trial and error which is why it might be good to try it on a, a, just a plain piece of paper ahead of time. So let's see how that turned out. That's a little thin, so I might try again and add just a little more paint to it. You can do whatever kind of design you'd like to do. Uh, you could get like a fern leaf and that would probably be a, like a bigger design. So I'm actually gonna try to roll, roll it and see how that works with, with the paint bottle. Yeah, that is better. It's got more paint on it. So you can do whatever kind of design you'd like. Um, I have a finished one right here. And uh, it's great for a holiday kitchen and for washing all the dishes that you'll have to do after um, after your Thanksgiving meal or whatever, uh, to take care of this, you need to let it dry for 24 hours. And then you can either put um, another piece of fabric over it and iron it on high heat, or you can throw it in the dryer and then the paint should be set. And then you should wait 72 hours after that before washing it. 
and you will be all set. Thank you.